The next guest is so embarrassed that we have agreed to conceal her identity. Go ahead, Mr. Guest. What's your question? Hi, Dr. Oz. I want to know, is it normal for me to have gas after having an orgasm? Gas after an orgasm. All right, can I say something? If I tell you that it's normal, would you willing to come out and talk to me about it? Yes. You would? All right. That is completely normal. And it's a very important part of life. So come on out, if you don't mind. Come on out and join me. This is a great example of how folks get very sheepish about their bodies. How are you? What's your first name? Eloise. Eloise, it's nice to meet you, Eloise. Thank you. You know what happens? When you have an orgasm, all kinds of things happen. But fundamentally, the, the nerve systems of the body have to let go in order for the orgasm to happen. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the, the pelvic part of the body, okay? And let's just say uh, this is the amount of gas that's built up inside. So go ahead and blow in there and see what happens. This is the gas that might want to come out. Of it. Oh, okay. Not much happens, right? Because the nerves of the body have told the muscles to spasm, to, sh to shut down. That's why we're not all passing gas right now as we sit in the audience. Right? <laughs> that can be very uncomfortable. Now, uh, during an orgasm, those nerves have to let go in order for that symphony that we call an orgasm to happen. Now show me what happens. <laughs> And sometimes it's louder than that. So the gas that you build up on the inside is the only thing you can control. Don't get hung up on whether you're passing gas or not during the process because it'll mess it all up. So one thing that I have found very effective is this. There's, there's simple little solutions you can use that can reduce the amount of gas. But if, you, if, you, if it needs to go, let it go. It's better to be intimate. <laughs> all right, always thank you very much. Are you okay with that? Okay. All right. <laughs> Where's question number nine?